like two more. Um, what do you think personally is the cause for the recent boom in MDMA use among like adolescents and like young adults? Well, I haven't looked at the data lately, and I'm not sure that, that there. Um, I don't know that there is a boom truly in the data. There's a data set called Monitoring the Future, which is probably one of the most comprehensive data sets. I think they interview somewhere around 25,000 people a year, and that ranges from eighth graders up through college age students. And um, that's uh, run out of the University of Michigan. So, Monitoring the Future. I would check that and online and you've got all sorts of tables. You can see whether whether there's drastic changes happening across the, um, the youth spectrum from you know, age 13 or 14 up through um, 18 years of age or if it's different in college as well. I think they've got good data on that. Um, but uh, that's, it's, it, well, MDMA has been around for a long time and all of these things go through ups and downs in terms of interest. I, I don't know if it has as much to do with culture. Maybe it has something to do with just the way things are produced. For instance, recently um, MDMA has become um, branded in a sense within the pop culture as Molly, and um, people are finding it more in a powder form and using it differently in that sense versus the, um, it used to be really popular to get these press tablets that would have um, little symbols on them and uh, at the rates everybody would really enjoy, you know, oh, I, I took the, I took the, um, the clover leaf or I, I took the diamond or whatever it was, they would all have their reputations. Nowadays, it's a little bit different, so it's been kind of reformatted by the people that make the drug and just sold in a different way with a different story to go with it. A lot of times when um, drugs increase or decrease in use, it has a lot more to do with what we would call in the research industry, we would, or in the research community, what we would call the substance use pioneers. So these are the people that first get into using something or get into reinvigorating re, um, the use of it and what is, what is going along with it. So um, when the race became very popular, even though MDMA had been around for decades, um, when the waves came around, when the wave scene came around, that was something in the pop culture that allowed for the pioneers to say, look, this is a great place to do this type of drug because it enhances this experience. And, and I want to be clear, I'm not necessarily in agreement or disagreement with this, I'm just saying this is what it is. Yeah. So um, if, there's a, if there's an increased use right now, I don't know what that's got to do with it, I might be curious myself. Yeah, uh, thank you. That was really descriptive. Um, I have one more question, though. 